Is your store acting funny? Do you have multiple apps installed on it? Do you suspect they might come into conflict? Want a quick way to check? Good, because that's what I'm going to show you. Hello again, welcome to another Shopify Quick Tips video. My name is Kostin and today I'm going to show you how you can disable any Shopify app directly from your browser. Why not just disable the app directly from the Shopify admin you ask? Well, that just takes too much time and effort jumping around in different tabs. Efficiency is something we should all strive for. On top of that, by making changes in your admin, those will reflect for everyone visiting your store. And that's probably not a very good idea, since it will impact the user experience of your customers. By just disabling apps in your browser, you will be the only one seeing the modifications. If your store isn't working as it should, and you think that may be due to certain apps coming into conflict, there's an easy way to check. Simply use your browsers to turn apps on and off, and see when the issue is fixed. That way you'll know which app is the source of the problem, and then you'll either be able to fix it yourselves, or contact the app's customer support. Or if you're a Vitals user, you can contact our customer support team, available 24-7 via email and chat. But enough playing around, let's jump right in. You see here, I have our own shop open. As you can see, we have a bunch of Vitals apps already turned on. Product reviews, stock scarcity, trust badges, animated at the cart, a lot of them. To disable all apps at once, all you have to do is go to your browser's menu. I'm using Chrome on Windows. Go to More Tools and Developer Tools. Once you click it, this section will appear. Now, all we have to do is go to the Network tab and refresh the page. You'll see in this section all the assets loading, whether they are scripts, images, or external calls. You can easily filter them by searching for an app name. Just type bundle into the search bar, as bundle.js is the name of our script. You'll see all the other resources disappearing except for our bundle.js script. All I have to do now is select it, right-click and choose block request domain. If a script is hosted on Shopify, you can block the request URL instead of the whole domain. If I refresh the page, all vital apps are no longer loaded on the store. And you can see that the results are now read and blocked. To turn the apps back on, right-click again and select Unblock. Refresh the page, and everything is back as it was. That was it. That simple. You can use this technique to block any third-party apps. If you've enjoyed this quick tip video, why not check some of these out? You might find them useful. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Good things will happen if you do. See you next time.